Hey there guys, Aaron here today, and today I'm going to show you the inside of your computer. Well, maybe not your computer, but I am going to show you inside a desktop computer. Um, last week we did a laptop, and that wasn't too interesting because they're kind of hard to get apart, and pretty much there's only a few things you can really replace without taking the whole thing apart. But today, we're going to check out this desktop computer. Now mostly you just take off the case, there's usually screw screws in the back that you can just unscrew and pull off the lid and you'll see the motherboard and all this other stuff. So I'm going to tell you what all this stuff is and what you can do with it. Now as you can see right here we have the processor fan. This is the fan that cools your processor because they do get really really hot um, up in the hundreds of degrees so uh, this really is a necessity. If your fan goes out you're pretty much screwed <laughs> because it really needs to stay cool. So anyway, this is the fan. The processor is under this. The processors are only about uh, this big. Um, back in the old days, they had processors that were huge, like four inches long, and really thick. But uh, nowadays, we just use a little square for the most part. And like on the laptop, we also have RAM right here and the little white things. So if you want to replace that, all you have to do is press these little white things down, pull it out. And boom, we have our RAM out and we can replace it. This is a one gig stick. And you can just replace it with pretty much anything. Uh, your motherboard does have a maximum amount, but you can usually find that in the information with your that you got with your motherboard. Um, as you can see, the fan is connected, or this is the power supply. The power supply is connected right here to the motherboard, so it can uh, tell when it's on and stuff. Um, the fan for this is connected right here, another slot in the motherboard. Um, this is also connected to the motherboard. This also goes to the power supply. And we have the CD-ROM drive, DVD drive here. This connects to the power supply with this cord. A lot of you have probably seen it before. It connects right there to the little square connector. And now I'm going to tell you about this. This right here. This is an IDE or EIDD, EIDE connector. And it connects to your uh, CD-ROM drive and the uh, hard drive. Now, mostly this is not used in new computers anymore. This is pretty much old school because this computer is kind of old. Uh, it's actually not too old, but it is kind of old. Um, the new computers use uh, the same type as the laptop that I showed you the other day or last week. Um, they use uh, SATA hard drives, serial ATA drives. And as you can see, the connector is a lot different, it's a lot smaller and they are faster. Um, and this computer can actually use IDE, EIDE, and SATA hard drives. So as you can see, the connectors for the hard for the uh, SATA hard drives are right there. There's four of them in this computer. But I don't have it connected to this because I really don't use this computer anymore. And this is also the hard drive right here. It's connected with EIDE, just like the uh, DVD drive. Um, these are... PCI slots that you can use to put in um, basically modems, network cards, and stuff like that. Now this and this computer has a built-in network card and uh, most most new computers do. Now we have this. You might be wondering what this is. Or you might know what this is. This is my graphics card. It's connected to an AGP slot, which you can see right there. It's blue. And pretty much you can just remove that by taking out that screw right there and uh, pulling it out. And you can replace that with a new um, AGP uh, what, or, uh, what's it called? A graphics card. Um, but mine's pretty good, so I think we're just going to leave it. So that's pretty much the inside of your computer. Like I said, you can replace pretty much anything in here as long as you know what you have and what you need. The uh, Pretty much you can replace anything, like I said. Uh, we'll show, I'll show you the back real quick. Well, everybody, have seen, everybody has seen this before. We have the... Uh, PS2, is it PS2? Well, the, these are the old school connectors for the um, mouse and the keyboard. Pretty much nobody use that anymore. They just use USB mice and uh, keyboards. Here's USB slots. We have the Ethernet slot right here. And here's some more USB slots. Uh, we have the sound card, um, printer, parallel pr parallel port. This is a COM port, a serial COM port. And uh, there's the um, uh, graphics card. And yes, I do have duct tape because I didn't have any more of those, uh, the, those uh, things to block it. 
So anyway, I hope this video helped you out. If you found it interesting and uh, want more, make sure you rate it five stars or give it a thumbs up, favorite it, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye.